Okay, so this is MailChimp dashboard. This is where you start once you log in. After you've logged into MailChimp, this is what you'll see. We're going to go to list because we are trying to get the HTML code for our Insta page so people can sign up for our newsletter. Okay, so this is the newsletter that I'm trying to get the code for. I want people that signed up on this new website to be put in this blog newsletter. Click design, sign up forms, and we're going to click the one that corresponds to the how to blog newsletter. If you don't have one, you would go to create list, the tab right above that, or the button right above that. This is one that I was working on. I don't really like it, but for Instapage, this doesn't matter. Whatever this looks like, doesn't matter. Just go ahead and click share it. You're not actually gonna get this on your page. For Instapage, for other pages, you would. We just want an HTML small subscribe form. Ta-da! This is what it's going to look like on your page. This one right here. Now, this one. Either of these is fine. I like the super slim because it's a little smaller. Okay, so we're going to click on this. It highlights it for us. I'm not exactly sure if it copies it for us. So we're going to click copy. Okay. Head on back over to Instapage. Our little form is still sitting here. Paste that right into there. Paste. Ta-da! That will send people to your list on MailChimp when they type their emails into that. Okay. Click OK and it'll show you what you got. There it is. We don't need nearly as much space as this has left us. Delete deleting. Delete. I would really like people to be able to see subscribe in in the frame when my page loads. I kind of like this line here. Let's see if we can get rid of some of this space by editing at the end. Edit column. Come on now. Let's go. Edit column. Aha. Okay. So let's delete some of this excess. Looks to me like it was just a bunch of uh, extra lines put at the end when this was edited. I would like this text to be a little larger though. One more edit. This is not charging us. We're not. This kind of editing does not add to your monthly fee. It's only the publishing that adds to your monthly fee. So you can edit these as much as you like, as long as you don't publish it a million times. So I want my font size a little larger. I want it to stand out at least as much as the gray at the top. Um, yeah, I think that's good. Not too overpowering, but you know, not gonna make people go blind when they're reading it. Just try that. I don't know. It doesn't look like it changed that much to me. <laughs> this is the part normally that I leave off a of video. This is just my neuroticness for sizes and fonts and colors. There we go. Decent. All right, there you have it. You're done. This is your Insta page. This will send people directly to your mailing list and you, once you amass enough customers for your mailing list, you can really make some money. This is a really good start, and it took us less than 15 minutes. And that's what it looks like on Instapage.